the clucky. That bright yellow sign. Both signs, you're in the Jocula's backyard in St. Paul. We like the chickens, then we have our own organic eggs. And there's sweet little Creamy. I love Creamy. My niece has actually named her. Cream Puff, or Creamy for short. She's one of five chickens living in the Jocula's backyard hen house. She would roost right up here, right under, she liked the wind chimes. But with wind chills below zero this winter, Creamy spent one night out when she shouldn't have. She got frostbite and lost her right foot. Like she'd gimp along or she'd hop on one foot. So it was as fast as she could go. Well, Creamy was vulnerable outside. She couldn't run, so she had to spend most of her time indoors. The Jocalas wanted to get her some help and they heard about this new technology, 3D printing at the University of Minnesota. The first animal we have helped, yes. Jonathan Kofel is an emerging technology strategist with Makerspace, a student-driven innovation lab at the U's Biomedical Library, specializing in helping people learn how to use and apply this new technology. 3D printing is like a hammer, it's just a tool and can be used for so many different things from printing out fidget spinners for kids to making prosthetics for hens. So Melissa, who works at the U, sent VAG, customizable dimensions, and Kofel started printing. It's probably about 25 cents worth of plastic to print it out, uh, maybe a few cents worth of electricity. So we're able to do multiple different models. We can even do it in different colors so that Creamy can match her prosthesis to how she feels that day. Creamy picked a pink foot. There you go. Which got her back outside for good. She's able to run, she's able to walk, she keeps it on. Corey Heppola, Care 11 News.